My name is Genesis Gonzalez, and I started at Youth Alive at Wilcox High School. I was really scared. <laughs> I grew up here. I grew up with everyone that I go to school with, almost. And I just know how it is here, and I feel like they, they really needed this. I feel like it's a really good place where they can really express how they feel, and nobody's going to judge them. I feel like a lot of people don't get out when it comes to things like this, and they feel judged, and I feel like this is just a place where... They don't. I didn't know that you could do a club at the school that would be called Youth Alive. And to have the support and knowing that we had Genesis and a couple of the other kids saying, oh, I'll kind of do it. And then, you know, God just pulled them right in to jump yeah. in on board has been such an amazing journey when you're open to God for anything. Pastor Crystal and Pastor Steve, they, they bring us free pizza every week. And I feel like, yeah, it's kind of like a pool to bring kids in like hey there's free pizza better than school food but i feel like a lot of kids just really want to come and pastor chris and pastor steve they're like the mom and dad like second mom and dad to you and you feel like really welcoming and comfortable my relationship with this church is different than any church that i've had i didn't really feel like I was part of the church in any other church except for this one. And then whenever you talk to us about Youth Alive, I was like, this is amazing. Like, I, I want this. So our, our youth group started with about 12 students. And shortly thereafter, we started a Youth Alive club. The next week after the Youth Alive club, we had 45 students on a Thursday night for youth group. And that's why I say everyone needs to start a Youth Alive Club in their school. I remember the first week we started, there was like 20 kids that came and we talked for a little bit. It got, in, it got real for a little bit and then we separated into groups and we talked a little bit. And I know a lot of people don't like to cry in front of people, but when you know, when you cry for me, it really means that it really got to you. And there was the people that were crying after, so I just felt like it really impacted them. So when I started this back in December, I never would have thought that here in March at a school assembly that everyone would really kind of be impacted by the way that we put everything on. And I didn't think that when, as soon as you said, who wants to be a game changer? I didn't think everyone would stand up. There was a lot more people that stood up than I thought just because I know the school and I guess I didn't know it that well. I feel like people just want to come out of their shell. I think Youth Alive has been such a great experience. We had an assembly and it has impacted, I believe, the entire school. When you ask them to be a game changer, I believe that it will be a school changer, that every student will be impacted. I believe they have been impacted already and that it will change their lives. That would have never happened if we didn't have Youth Alive. So I really want to encourage pastors, youth pastors, and even senior pastors to get out of their offices and start to do something in your community. I think we forget how much we can do in a community. And we had a school right across the street. And when we first came here, it wasn't about that. But when you're open to God for what he wants to do, a lot of it is getting out of your office and reaching out. Mm. It's finding gifts in kids yeah. and having them do it with you. Yeah. And we had a girl, Genesis, who really just came in and together, you know, we stretched her and God was stretching us at the same time. And a, a, a one pastor cannot do everything. And it should never be that way. That's why they have to look for the gifts of the other people and look to help have the community help. So I really want to encourage pastors to start a youth alive. Get out of your office and do it, even if it's once a month. We do it once a week, but find people. There are so many needs in the community that I think we forget about the community and we're only servicing the church.